At Riverside Tappahannock Hospital, we have one simple mission, care for those we serve as we would those we love. We're making a difference by building a better place to heal for our community, the Northern Neck, Middle Peninsula, and beyond. The hospital has just given so much back to the community, so much back to our each individual lives. I'm sure all of us have either been to this hospital or we've had others, loved ones that have come here for its care. Since 1969, it's been a partnership between your community hospital and you. A promise to offer the most advanced, most effective treatments and technologies available, to deliver cost-effective, high-quality care, and to respond to ever-changing health care needs. It was a community effort. The community actually built the hospital, and it was a committee that formed it. And Catherine DeShazo, Mayor Clanton, the town officials, the county officials all came together and put this hospital where it was supposed to be. Then Riverside bought it and it, it just blossomed overnight. The, the total purpose of the hospital and its mission is to provide better health care, more immediate health care to the citizens in the area in which it serves. This is a community hospital. I think it's very important that the community looks at what they can do maybe to help here. I just can't comprehend what this area would be without our hospital. So I think it's, we're at a point in time when we need to, to step back and reflect and say what can we do to, to help this great organization and healthcare system we have. For decades, the Riverside Health System has invested into making this community-based and nonprofit hospital a state-of-the-art medical facility. Modern updates to our emergency room and surgical suites have allowed us to provide specialized treatments using the most advanced equipment available today. Now, in partnership with the Riverside Health System, we have launched our building a Better Place to Heal capital campaign to finance the conversion of our currently outdated multi-patient rooms into single-bed, fully modernized, all-private rooms. We consider this project to be transformational for Riverside. It's not just a matter of um, having one bed in, in a room versus two in a room. It's really changing our whole uh, environment of how we deliver inpatient care. The rooms are older, having been built in the 60s. They have older plumbing and older HVAC support systems. They don't have uh, full private baths. Most of them don't have showers. So this would be converting the rooms to what you would expect. Uh, in today's day and age going into a, a newer hospital. Regulations now for, for new construction for hospitals requires private rooms. Primarily those are for safety, uh, infection control prevention. Those requirements are, are really fundamental to being able to provide good patient care. Having semi-private rooms, I think that was um, something back in the 60s and 70s and 80s that were expected. But now, I just can't imagine having a roommate if I have a serious health issue. I want to be in the room with the privacy of my own family, with my own doctors and health care providers there with me. The physicians who are practicing here in this community come here for a variety of reasons. Most often it's because they want to come close to the water and enjoy living um, in this beautiful area. These are well-trained physicians with great experience who bring state-of-the-art skills and it is their expectation that their hospital will be able to support the type of work that they want to do and the type of care they want to provide for their patients. They strongly believe that the, the conversion to private rooms is an important and critical piece of our ability to do that. You can work at a place, but if you bring your family member there to be taken care of, that shows how you really feel about where you work. I was sent to the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. I was diagnosed there with an illness that less than several hundred people in the country have been diagnosed with. I think I'm lucky that I have access to all of the experimental treatments and research that I could have gotten at a big name hospital somewhere else. I can do that here. I've shared rooms in other hospitals, but here I've only ever had a private room. And to me, it means you know, I have my own space. Also, I was able to have family and people come visit me. There's things that the physician needs to find out in order to care for you. There's things that are said that you don't want people knowing and you want patients to feel comfortable telling you things about themselves. It 
really is awesome to be able to stay at home, be in my community, and still have access to all the services I need and all the care I need without going anywhere else. To make this campaign a success, we need help from the entire community. The return is the best possible care, safety, and the most advanced medical technology close to home. Riverside Health System will match dollar for dollar the community's investment of $2.5 million, ensuring that for generations to come, our community and all our patients will benefit from this state-of-the-art renovation. Yeah, Riverside Tappahannock Hospital uh, is a nonprofit hospital. The benefits of being nonprofit is that those uh, profits that are made in the hospital are directly invested back in the facility uh, to improve it and to improve the, the health care. After all, the mission of the hospital and the reason we're here is to provide better health care for the, for the community and the people we serve. My grandmother used to always say many hands make light work and I think that's true in the fundraising capability too. The more people we have on board and in the project here, I think the quicker we'll be able to realize our goal. We've added tons and tons of technology, multiple millions and millions of dollars worth of technology has come into this building so that we can provide state-of-the-art care right here in Tappahannock. We would just like the facility, the rooms that our patients are in, to match that level of technology. We want people to be able to enjoy a high-quality private room here in Tappahannock. Together, we can make a difference to our families and our community. Please join us in this important effort, and let's build a better place to heal.